well this is also a viral fever but this is a viral hemorrhagic fever you see this flavi virus dengue that is type that causes a decrease in the platelet uh, count one number two it can cause increase in the capillary uh, permeability that is the blood vessels that uh, are carrying the blood become sieve like the it's the blood uh, the waters water from the blood column seeps out causing the swelling all over so this uh, has got different mechanism so that's why it is different and more dangerous than most other viruses malaria you have got intermittent fever that means the patient have got very high fever and suddenly the there is no fever the patient becomes almost a fever there is no temperature in between the two both may have body ache but the amount of the body ache is much much more severe than the dengue fever the gi symptoms like recurrent vomiting loose motions are more common in dengue initially rather than in the malaria and the hemorrhage that is the uh, we call it small uh, blood spots that occurs in the lower limbs in your abdomen that occurs more common with dengue rather than in malaria dengue fever spreads mainly during the monsoon season mainly because the dengue uh, the aedes mosquito uh, breeds in clean water stagnant water like uh, coolers rice uh, paddy fields in uh, containers and uh, this is the reason why it spreads when the there is rain the water collects the aedes larva are more more and more mosquitoes are there they are able to spread the virus so this is mainly in the monsoon season dengue can be prevented if we are able to prevent the mosquito bites and to prevent mosquito bites you have to decrease the breed of the mosquitoes to decrease the breed of the mosquitoes one you should not allow the water to stagnate try to understand that it is larva this eggs can remain even without water for days together so you have to prevent to prevent dengue fever you have to clean your tanks you should not allow water to stagnate well way before the monsoon way before the rain hits this is one message that i want to give you have to prepare yourself you have to spread larvicides you have to spread kerosene or any larvicide on the stagnant uh, or water bodies such that water that it is do not breed and you can have uh, larvicidal uh, fishes that eats uh, away the eggs um, so by that only you can prevent and people can prevent that by keeping a good hygiene around their houses not allowing the mosquitoes to breed